Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see, you stay and subscribe and decide to become a part of the Money Minded Tribe. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. So the theme of today's video is an out of town Dollar Tree haul. Uh, these are the fun goodies that I picked up um, on my way to and in the greater uh, suburban Milwaukee area. <laughs> when Hugo and I went uh, for my birthday weekend, we had a wonderful time. The weather didn't really work out so hot for us. We had really hoped to get to the Milwaukee Zoo, but it rained and it was cold. And you know what? That's okay. It's to be expected in early April in the Midwest. Sometimes that happens. So we think we may go back over Memorial Day weekend. So that's always something fun to look forward to. I love road tripping with my guy. He's really cute and a lot of fun and very indulgent of my Dollar Tree habit. So why don't we go ahead and jump right in and I can share and show what we found on our little road trip. So Hugo and I love to hit the Dollar Tree snack zone to get all of the cheap snacks <laughs> because as we know, everything is crazy expensive. Um, and one of the things we love to pick up, it's an amazing deal, is this Brim's Movie Theater Butter Popcorn in the eight ounce bag. You guys, look how gigantic this bag is. It's unreal and it is delicious. This is an absolutely delicious popcorn. I mean, a lot of the places where we like to stay will have a microwave, but both of us are always afraid that we're going to be the dummy that like... <laughs> burns the popcorn and everybody's going to smell it. It's going to stink up the whole hotel. So this is a nice alternative. And uh, we just didn't get to this because we had had other snacks and we just never got to it. So Hugo said, here, just take this, haul it for your friends, and then we will enjoy it later. And we have all the way until May of uh, this year to enjoy this popcorn. Oh, that's not very much time now that I think about it. Sorry, 17th of May. Oh boy, we better get crack a lacking on this. Okay. So much for that. Check your dates, guys. Hmm, that was kind of a poop. But anyway, not too bad. Uh, it's not expired. Um, and then uh, I also picked up, we like to get these in um, in more of a piece count where you get smaller smaller ones, but you get more. And that is these uh, paper bowls. Uh, we picked up this two pack of the uh, popcorn bowls because I, what I was really looking for was, and especially right now with all the um, patriotic and picnic stuff coming out, they usually have like this type of thing, but you know, about half the size and you get six of them. Uh, that's what I would have preferred to find, but uh, we could not find those, at least uh, not at the stores that we hit. So we did find these, picked it up, but promptly did not use them because we didn't eat the popcorn. But I will put this in with our uh, road trip stuff for the next time we go. And we will have paper bowls at the ready because when we're on vacation, we don't want to wash anything. <laughs> so I love the paper products. Um, also from the food section, um, I picked up this uh, small bag of the uh, HERS. Uh, baked potato chips um, to go with a sandwich that I also picked up, uh, not from Dollar Tree, obviously, um, but from the local grocery store, um, and just promptly forgot to eat it. So um, I don't know, I brought them home, thought I'd show you guys, and I uh, I love the baked blaze potato chips, so I'm sure the hers will be equally delicious. Uh, for $1.25, it's not a bad, you get one, one and seven eighths ounce bag, so not too bad for a buck and a quarter. And then I picked up, oh my gosh, you guys, I love these. I haven't seen them in a minute, um, but I picked up two packages of these crispy coconut rolls. I love these. They are so good. I know Aldi has a version that they sometimes carry, and I know you can buy these at like Costco, possibly at Sam's Club as well, um, but I don't really shop at stores like that. I, I mean, we're a two-person household, myself and Jacob, and I really don't buy things in bulk like that, um, even though I know... It could be a money saver, but a big bag of coconut rolls like this would probably go stale before we could eat them all. Well, I don't know, actually, because uh, I could certainly go to work on these. But nonetheless, I digress. I like picking these up at the Dollar Tree when I see them, and I grab two bags of the crispy coconut rolls. And speaking of rolls, Hugo loves these. He loves the novelty of them, and this is one of his favorite candies ever, and that is Smarties. And he picked up one of the rolls of the Mega Smarties, because just... They're huge and they're fun and they're different. So um, he saw them and went ahead and threw them uh, in the basket. And I guess he forgot about them, but uh, I had them in the bag. So I'm hauling them for you now. And I like to get these for him and throw them into uh, Christmas, birthday, Easter gift baskets. Gift baskets that I do for him, I usually like to throw at least one of these uh, Mega Smarties in his, uh, in his gifts because those are fun. Let me put those over there so I don't lose them. And this, you guys, was awesome. I didn't even know I was looking for this large size box of blueberry Cheerios. They had a whole shelf of these. I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay. I picked up the vanilla spice not long ago in the big family size. This uh, large size is 14.2 ounces of, excuse me, 
of blueberry Cheerios. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> I'm like swallowing so much air as I'm talking, you know, it was giving me a little, little hiccup there. But anyway, blueberry Cheerios. I thought this was great. I went ahead and picked up two boxes. Uh, let's see, expiration on this is August 16th of 2024. So we have several months to go ahead and eat these. But once Jacob knows about them, I think they are not going to last very long in this house. Uh, the vanilla spice, he said they were just okay. He said he'll eat them, but he's really, he's like, you don't have to buy any more of those. I'm like, oh, okay. And right now he's powering through our very last box of the lemon Cheerios. Those were a hit. I think these are going to be a hit as well. So I will show him these and hopefully he likes them. So I went ahead and picked those up. Jacob's my cereal eater. This kid can like power through cereal like nobody's business. So I always like when I can find really inexpensive, healthier, tasty cereals like those. Blueberry Cheerios. Yum. Um, any other food? No. I did find a book in the book section. And this is called The Headspace Guide to Meditation and Mindfulness. And I'm like, oh, okay, this seems kind of interesting. How Mindfulness Can Change Your Life in 10 Minutes a Day by Andy Puttycomb. Andy Puttycomb. That's his name. And he is apparently, glasses on, Michelle. Have them ready. He is apparently the co-founder of the website Headspace. Uh, he is the author of three books available in 25 countries and in 12 languages and has been widely featured in publications such as Vogue, The New York Times, Financial Times, Entrepreneur, Men's Health, and Esquire. Um, Andy currently lives in Venice, California. Here, let's let's see. Andy Puttycomb, a former Buddhist monk, the voice of Headspace, and the United Kingdom's foremost mindfulness expert, is on a mission to get people to take 10 minutes out of their day to sit in the here and now. Like his readers and students, Andy began his own meditation practice as a normal busy person with everyday concerns, and he has since designed a program of mindfulness and guided meditation that fits neatly into a jam-packed daily routine, proving that just 10 minutes a day can make a world of difference. I was on board with that. I'm like, that sounds really, really interesting. And so I went ahead and grabbed it, picked this up. Um, this retailed for, I was able to get the sticker off, although it is kind of sticky. I hate when that happens. But this did retail out there for $16.99. But I picked up this book about mindfulness for only, what, five quarters. So I went ahead and added this to my collection. And I will go ahead and read through it and glean from it what I can. And then I plan to pass it on and put it in one of the little free libraries in my town. So I always love doing that. Yay, Dollar Tree Books. Um, a repurchase. I was excited to find um, two more of these. Um, I showed these several months ago. These are the heat-sensitive color-changing mugs in the Mama Bear design. How cute is this? So the, this is what the mug looks like before you pour the hot liquid in it. It just says Mama. And then when you pour your hot liquid in, it reveals the bear, Mama Bear. I thought these would make really cute Mother's Day gifts for my mom, my aunt, and my two cousins. I thought that would be really a lot of fun. So I went ahead and picked up uh, two more of these. So now I have a total of four on hand. I thought that was cute and a good purchase. They had a couple of the other uh, designs. One was the... Um, um, I'm into fitness, fitness taco in my mouth. They had that design. I've already picked that up before and given it as a gift. Um, and what else? They had the Papa Bear one. And I'm trying to remember what else they had. That was up north in um, Brookfield, Wisconsin. Um, so nowhere in, in my neighborhood could I go pick up any more. But they did have several of the designs of these color changing mugs. I thought that was a, a cool repurchase. Um, a wish list item. Believe it or not, you guys, I've been looking all over for this and finally found this up north in Wisconsin. It's these laundry detergent sheets, um, which is good for up to 10 loads. Um, eat, that You get five sheets that you tear in half to make 10 loads of these laundry detergent sheets. And, you know, coincidentally, in the hotel where we stay, we stayed at an Embassy Suites, which is a very nice way to stay, by the way. I love them. I think they're great. They're very family friendly, as well as like, you know, for us, it was just like a fun getaway. Um, they have great amenities, all the things, including a laundry room, which happened to be um, just a couple doors down from our room. And I noticed there was a lot of parents there um, for some kind of baseball tournament of some sort, like some kind of travel league or whatever with their kids. And um, there was laundry, there was a laundry room. And I thought to myself, how perfect would this be if you are on the road and you want to do some laundry? You know, I, the, the parents were washing uniforms or whatever they were washing, you know, or just even if you're the type of person, you know, you're staying somewhere for a few days. And especially if you're staying with a couple kids, if you want to run a quick load of laundry and come home with nothing but clean clothes, that could save you a lot of time. So why not? You know, why not indeed? If, uh, it, you know, if you stay in an Airbnb, I think there's just so many applications for this skinny little package that gives you 10 loads of laundry detergent 
in these little sheets. So I'm really excited to try these out. I'm gonna try them out first with like a load of towels and see what I think about it before I try it on my clothes. But have you guys used these? If so, sound off and let me know what do you think. I just picked up one package. I hope I don't love them so much and then I'm gonna be mad at myself that I didn't get more. But you know, that's the gamble of the Dollar Tree. Do you buy one or do you buy 10? <laughs> you know, it really depends. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. Another wish list item, I've seen these out there and I was really hoping to find these makeup brush holders and I went ahead and picked up the cute cherry design. This also came with, let me think, there was lemons, there was a purple feathers or leaves or something like that design and then there was like a blue floral pattern as well. I think these are adorable. I think these will fit. Um, I don't use a ton of brushes or anything like that. I use one, uh, a blush brush, uh, two eye brushes and maybe even a highlighter brush. So like two face brushes and uh, two eye brushes, I believe will fit into this little container and that will be perfect uh, for upcoming trips. So I was excited to find these. You could certainly put anything you want in here. You could put tampons in here. You could put uh, pencils in here, markers. Uh, you can make a little first aid kit out of this. I mean, this could be used for a million different things. And look how cute that is, right? I'm looking forward to using that. So that was a fun find. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Did I cover that, I covered that, covered that? I hate that when I'm like so discombobulated. Oh, I see something over here in the shadows. I have not found a lot of adult t-shirts. I don't know what's up, Chicagoland. Where are the t-shirts? I find lots of little bitty ones for little kids, or if I find adult ones, they're like small or extra small. Well, that, that's not gonna work for this girl. So I was excited to walk into a store that had a bunch of t-shirts, including adult sized, including adult size that could fit me. I went ahead and picked up four extra large plain black t-shirts for myself. These make the best pajama shirts. All the t-shirts that I sleep in, came from the Dollar Tree because why would why would you pay more? Why pay more? You know, and then I pick up, you know, my bottoms, like either like sleep shorts, pants, capri length, whatever. I buy them end of season, usually from Walmart or whatever, just buy separates. And then I use my Dollar Tree t-shirts and I've got some very inexpensive and very comfy pajamas. So uh, these are a generous extra large, maybe a men, I'm, I'm assuming these are a men's, I don't know, but these will fit me just fine. And I picked up uh, three of them for myself. Three or did I do four? No, I did three, I did three. Okay, and the last item, you guys, I was really excited to find. It's part of the summer collection. You probably saw it in my thumbnail. I managed to find four of these gorgeous green palm leaf um, placemats. Look how awesome these are, you guys. I, you know, I've seen people show them and I thought, well, they look kind of cool. Let's see what they look like in person. Well, let me tell you, they are every bit as nice in person. These look like they came from Hobby Lobby or Target or whatever. They're very like, why is this screaming Golden Girls to me in like the absolute best way possible? I think they're beautiful. I picked up four. I'm going to put them on my uh, white picnic table that I have, my white plastic picnic table that I have outside on my porch. And I think this will make a great addition to the summer decor out there. And I think they are stunning. These also came in like gold leaves and you could get a gold pineapple shape also. Um, I wasn't crazy about the gold for me, for my own taste, but this green, these green leaves, stunning. I think these are so, so awesome. And I was very excited to be able to find four of them. You know, my fear is always I'm going to find two or three or, you know, some odd number and I won't get all the ones that I want. But nope, sure enough, they had a stack of four just waiting for me. So I went ahead and scooped those up. And you guys, with that, that is today's haul that uh, we picked up from out of out of town. You know, um, I don't know about you guys, but like I always try to Google how what's the distance between my hotel and the nearest Dollar Tree, wherever I'm going. And um, I do have an upcoming trip, um, not until Labor Day weekend, but I will be going to Denver. And don't you know, there's a Dollar Tree two miles from my hotel. So guess who's going to be hopping an Uber? This girl right here, because I got to see what Denver's got too. But anyway, you guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for every time you do. Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I bid you peace.